Have you ever found yourself staring at the ceiling at 2am wondering if counting imaginary sheep even really works? Or maybe your meditation time turns into a mental replay of something awkward you said a few years ago? Well, if you're nodding along or dying inside because it's so relatable, boy do I have something exciting for you today. Today we're going to be leaping headfirst, pun intended, into the fascinating world of brainwaves, sleep tracking and a headband that might just become your new bedtime BFF. The Muse S headband. So what's this gadget all about? The Muse S headband isn't just any headband, it's an advanced EEG device that's designed to help you meditate better and sleep deeper. Yep, you heard that right. This comfy headband actually monitors your brain activity in real time. Now, EEG stands for electroencephalography. Try saying that three times in a row quickly. It's basically a fancy term for a technique that measures the electrical activity of your brain. Think of it like a window into your mind, showing you exactly what's going on in here when you're trying to get some zen or catch some z's. Better yet, the Muse S pairs with an intuitive app that you can download onto your smartphone, creating a seamless experience that combines cutting edge neuroscience with everyday wellness. It's basically like having your very own personal meditation coach right at your fingertips. Or should that be on your forehead? All right, it's time to do something that we all know I love doing, which is getting my geek on. So we know that the Muse S is an EEG device and that it is actively measuring the brain waves that are going on in here, because that's where your brain is. But when we're talking about brain waves, what exact brain waves are we on about? Because different brain waves correlate to different states of consciousness. Now, if you're worried that this is already sounding, too sciencey for you. Don't worry because I am going to break it down so it is easy peasy. So the first brain wave is the delta wave. The delta brain waves are the slowest waves and these are the ones that are dominant during sleep. And when I say sleep I mean deep restorative sleep. Now these brain waves are super important because they are basically like your body's own repair team. They help with healing and regeneration. Think beauty sleep at its finest. Next we've got theta waves. Now theta waves are most dominant during light sleep and during deep meditation. They're also the gateway to intuition and creativity. So if you've ever had a brilliant brain wave, just as you're drifting off to sleep, you can thank your theta waves. Okay, the third type of brain wave that it measures are the alpha waves. Now, you're considered to be in an alpha state when you're relaxed but awake. Think along the lines of that feeling you've got after a really good yoga session. Now, alpha waves are all about calmness and relaxation, but without being drowsy. They're basically your I'm in the zone waves. Now, you can't have alpha without beta, and beta waves are next. Beta waves are most dominant when you are wide awake and alert, and they predominantly help with active thinking and focus. But if your beta waves become too dominant, this can lead to stress and overthinking, which never a good thing. It's all about finding balance, which the Muse helps with. And then the last type of waves that it monitors are the gamma waves. Now, gamma waves are the fastest moving brain waves that are monitored, and they are associated with high level information processing. They've been linked to moments of insight and heightened perception. Think your eureka moments. So those are the five types of brain waves that the Muse band basically monitors, giving you real time feedback on your mental state. In turn, this allows you to adjust your focus during meditation or gain deeper insights into how you're sleeping. And as a bona fide insomniac, the sleep information is what sold me on this. So let's start with meditation. When you are meditating and you've got the Muse band on, it's actively monitoring your brain waves to see whether you are focusing on the task at hand or whether you are wandering off to La La Land. Yep, it secretly knows when you're planning your next vacation instead of focusing on your breathing patterns. It also monitors your heart using PPG sensors. That's photoplethysmography. Yeah, I'm in no hurry to pronounce that one again anytime soon. And basically this allows you to become more aware of your physiological state, adding another layer to your meditation practice. But wait, there's more. Muse keeps tabs on your breathing patterns, helping you find that perfect rhythm between inhales and exhales and those little fidgets that you think no one notices muse does and it picks up on those micro movements too now obviously as someone who doesn't actively take part in meditation my sole reason for getting my hands on the muse s headband was primarily for my sleep patterns 
See, when I went through puberty at around about the age of 11, I was also introduced to the world of insomnia. And this has been something chronic and ongoing ever since then. For more than 30 years of my life, I have really struggled to sleep at night. And you know, a lack of deep and restorative sleep it's not only bad for your skin, but it's also not great for your mind, for your body, for repair process, for any of it. Now, obviously I have tried everything from counting those sheep jumping over a fence in my brain to actually taking pharmaceuticals from my medical health practitioner trying to help me enter a deeper state of sleep. And while some of those have helped over the years, it's definitely not the direction that I want to be taking and being reliant on pills or tablets given to you by your GP or your doctor yeah, it's just not something that appeals to me. It never has done, which is why I've kind of just battled through with the insomnia as best that I can. And if you're like me and you do have insomnia or you have experienced really bad sleep routines, you'll know that you will try anything that you think is going to help. And let me just say, this isn't marketing speak. I'm not being paid to say this. The Muse headband and its digital sleeping pills have literally changed my relationship with sleep. And what's more, it's for the better. So at night before I go to bed, I put on my Muse S headband and I literally sleep with it on all the way through the evening. Now this is such a comfortable band. I actually don't even know it's there anymore. The first night I put it on, I did put it on a little bit too tight. So when I woke up, I had like a dent in my forehead. I have used bands like pressure bands on my head before, which were supposed to encourage me to fall asleep. All they done were gave me a headache. And yeah, I just woke up feeling worse than before I went to sleep. The Muse S headband, I actually forget it's there. My mail delivery people have seen me answering the door a hundred times in it now. I think they're actually used to it. So when you put the band on before heading to bed, what it's going to be doing is it's going to be tracking your brain activity. It's going to be tracking your heart and respiration rates. And it's going to be letting you know exactly how your body is responding in certain stages of sleep, kind of things that are disrupting you when you're waking, when you're entering REM. Now, if you are one of those people who wonders how much REM or deep sleep you're getting, how much light sleep you're getting, then the Muse band is going to basically lift the lid on all of that and show you exactly what is happening for every period of your sleep through the night. It knows in real time whether you're in light sleep, whether you're in deep sleep, whether you're dreaming away in REM. It is basically opening those curtains and letting you look into your subconscious while you are unconscious. But beside all of that, it is also measuring your sleep latency, which if you're wondering, okay, what on earth does that mean? It's basically how long it takes you to drift off from when you close your eyes to when you enter your sleep state. And of course, monitoring your brain activity and your state of sleep also means that it's paying attention to whenever you're waking up. Now, these could be moments when you wake up in the night that you remember, or these could be ones that you completely just didn't know were happening. And if you're wondering, okay, so what good is all of that? Well, basically what it's going to be doing is it's going to be giving you all of the information that you need to improve your sleep environment, which hopefully is going to give you the best night's sleep of your life, but not just for one night, night after night after night. So for me, for 99% of the time, I am using my Muse S headband predominantly for sleep tracking but I'm not just tracking my sleep I'm also using it to actively help me fall asleep and I do this with the use of the digital sleeping pills now if you're like me and I do wonder sometimes if maybe I have got a bit of ADHD going on when I close my eyes it doesn't matter how tired I am I'm there and I'm laying there and I'm thinking go to sleep clear your mind clear your mind clear your mind and nothing is clearing in actual fact what's happening is that a random thought comes tumbling in and it's like my brain turns into a giant dryer of thoughts and they're all tumbling around like making so much brain noise and I just cannot switch off. Like I could be laying there thinking about, okay, like tomorrow I need to wake up in the morning, need to get the dog out before it rains. And then like that, I have a thought dropping into my mind from seven years ago of me being completely embarrassed walking into a glass door at the local shop and like people seeing it and then did I unplug my laptop from the wall or is it still charging and is it gonna burst into flames while I'm asleep? I wonder how my friend from primary school is doing it, even though we haven't spoken for like the last 30 odd years. Oh, I'm hungry. I wonder what I could eat. I wonder why when it's dark and my eyes are closed, everything looks red. Wow, am I seeing through my eyelids right now? This is literally what is going on in my brain. It's like constant noise. And the digital sleeping pills have this amazing way of quieting it all down. So what you do is you basically open the app, you choose the digital sleeping pill you want. Now for me, I'm 
all about nature and soundscapes. So I'm always looking for something with rain, with thunderstorms, but the options that you've got available to you are so many. There's white noise, there's brown noise, there's soundscapes, a whole lot of storytelling. You put in your headphones, for me I go wireless. These are connected to my phone, which are also connected to the band. The band is actively monitoring my brain. So what it's doing is it starts off kind of rhythmic, calming your brain down. The more calm your brain gets, and the more you start entering a state of zen and edging your way towards sleep, the noise starts to quieten down. Now, if those thoughts of your brain dryer suddenly start up, it detects that your brain activity is amping up. And what it then does is it starts increasing the volume. It starts adding chaos into the sound with like thunderbolts, with drums. And what that's designed to do and what it actually does do, which blew my mind the first time it happened to me, those thoughts leave your brain because all you're focusing on it's the sounds being created by the app. As soon as your brain is under control, those thoughts are kind of quieting down, leaving your headspace again. The volume of the app starts to quieten, everything kind of helps you drift off and you enter the most beautiful state of sleep. Now, while you're asleep, the volume pretty much completely stops but should you start to wake up at any point in the night the volume will start to increase gently so you're not going to be scared out of your skin but it will gently increase and kind of help you enter a state of consciousness but without becoming too conscious it's obviously it's monitoring your brain waves it's actively looking at what's going on if it's a blip and you've just woken up briefly as soon as you kind of start to drift off again the volume starts to go back down this is what i've been experiencing since i started using the muse s and it's safe to say that there's not a night that I don't use this now. Now, when I traveled out to Korea, it came with me. When I went to the Beauty Awards, it came with me. No matter where I go, this goes in my bag with me because this is my fast route to sleep without needing to take any supplements, without any medication, and without letting my brain frazzle itself out to the point that I'm exhausted and can no longer stay awake. And here's the cherry on the top. You get the morning reports when you wake up. Everything that has happened through the night is recorded on your digital sleep scorecard. You're gonna see your total sleep time, your sleep efficiency, and even personalized suggestions to help you improve your future sleep snooze sessions. Things like adjusting what time you're going to bed at or tweaking your room temperature. So regardless as to whether you're looking at improving your meditation practices or cleaning up your sleep, which for me is what I absolutely use it for, the Muse S really is like having a sleep coach at your fingertips or more accurately wrapped around your head like a giant hug. Okay, real talk, sleep is everything. And I'm not just saying that because I love my bed. During deep sleep, your body goes into full on reparative mode. Cells regenerate, tissues heal, and muscles grow. It's basically the fountain of youth for your body, but there's more. Sleep also plays a really crucial role in hormone regulation. It balances hormones like cortisol, which is the stress hormone, as well as leptin and ghrelin, which control hunger and fullness. So getting enough sleep can actually help with weight management. Sleep yourself thin? Not quite, but it's little steps in the right direction, creating a better environment for your health. Sleep is also essential when it comes to processing emotions and memories. It basically helps your brain sort through the day's events, reducing anxiety and improving mood. Ever notice how things seem brighter after a really good night's sleep? It's not a coincidence. Adequate sleep helps enhance cognitive functions like problem solving, creativity, and decision making. Now for people like me who are all about that anti-aging, deep and restorative sleep also promotes collagen production, Woohoo! which in turn leads to healthier, more radiant skin. It reduces inflammation, oxidative stress, which are also factors that contribute to aging. Plus, consistent restful sleep is also linked to a longer and healthier life. So skimping on sleep isn't just making you feel tired. It's also impacting on your overall health, but we all know that already. All right, if you're anything like me and sleep is more of a nightly battle rather than a personal retreat, this little headband might just be what you need to flip the script. Now, as I said, I did get the Muse S primarily for its sleep functions and that's what I use it for. From the digital sleeping pills that lulls me into a slumber with personalized soundscapes to waking up feeling genuinely refreshed and in a good mood, all I can say is that it has genuinely made a world of difference, not only to my sleep, but 
to my entire day because I wake up in such a good mood, feeling so refreshed with a really positive outlook. These are all things that really I gave up on ever experiencing 30 years ago. Gone are the days where I would wake up feeling like a freshly exhumed snake, like literally ready to attack the first person who even dared say good morning to me. Now I actually look forward to mornings and waking up and taking on the day. So is it worth it? Well, for me, absolutely 100%. It has been completely worth it. And honestly, I would not be without it now. The way that I look at it is that good sleep, it shouldn't be a luxury. It's actually essential for a happy and healthy life. And come on, who doesn't want to wake up feeling the very best version of themselves? Now, obviously, like I said, it can also be used for things like meditation, for de-stressing when you are overwhelmed and anxiety is kicking in. It's got breathing exercises. The whole shebang is in there for me. I'm all about the sleep. But if you are about the meditation, about reducing anxiety or just bringing that little bit of zen into your everyday life. This, absolutely worth a try. But yeah, that's about it for this video. If you've got any questions about this device or about the way that I use it or anything else that I do on my channel, the comments are now open, so feel free to get the conversation started. If you're excited about the prospect of a decent night's sleep or you've just enjoyed hanging out today, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And of course, before you leave, if you haven't done so already, I truly appreciate all of you guys who are subscribed to my channel. So if you're not, and you've been thinking about it or you're a lurker, hit subscribe, turn notifications on and you're gonna be able to stay up to date with all of my latest content. I hope that your day is as beautiful as you are and I really look forward to seeing you in my next video. So until then, TJ over and out. <laughs>